Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz and Beth Grady. Yeah, I think it's good, buddy. We are getting ready to bring you some exciting Region 2A basketball, which now it's not a Region 2A game because the Irwin County Indians are in the upper division. So I uh, want to wish everybody a happy new year. We've got a couple of games in before the big Christmas holidays, and we're back now. We're going to be wide open. We'll be back here tomorrow with an exciting game. we got Coffee County, 6A Coffee County, coming over to Homerville tomorrow. Uh, their girls have a – I was talking to Coach J.D. They have a good forward down low that's going to – could cause our girls some problem. Our girls come in 8-0. The Lady Panthers are 8-0 and ranked number three in the state. Turner County is ranked number two, and that's right looking at the schedule. That's right down the road. The 20th of January, we'll play in Homerville against Turner County. So uh, that'll be a packed house. Looks like we got slow crowd coming in, but they're showing up. The Lady Panthers have played the Lady Indians from Irwin County once during a Christmas tournament with the Lady Panthers winning by double digits. Uh, the Panthers will be in all white with uh, Irwin County being all black uniforms. Uh, we're getting ready for some basketball. We have a minute and 25 seconds. I want to appreciate everybody joining us here. Give me a shout a chance to give us a, uh, our sponsors a shout out. We have Big Daddy's on 84, Burt CPA, Camping World of Alasta, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia. Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Douglas Metal, Mr. Ash and the Dairy Queen of Homerville, Homerville Jewelers, Huey's One Stop, Lutz Brown Insurance, Walker Jones of Waycross, Napa Auto, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia. Dre's Snack Shack and Barnyard Barbecue. Scott was out there today. He's probably still out there right now if he's got anything left. They've been busy. Uh, stop by and get you some barbecue and Dre's will be open here. Right here, call after the game and he'll have it waiting on you. You can go right now up to Big Daddy and watch the game live while you eat right inside. I'm going to step back while they announce the starters. So y'all just hang right here. Coach Lee Douglas is announcing the announcements. <laughs> He does a good job, the head baseball coach. He just come up here and told me and Daniel, baseball starts February the 3rd. Number one, Raven Ellis. Ellis, number one. Number two, Alita Austin. Austin, number two. Number four, Terry Smith. Smith, number four. Number 21, Emily Smith. Emily Smith. And forward number 23 will be your starters for Irwin County. Now here come the Lady Panthers. And your starting lineup for the Lady Panthers. Number two, Makai Rose. Number three, Amaya Gregory. Number five, Danisha Brady. Number 11, Asia Hood. And number 23, Tyana Dorsey. That is Makaya, Mama, Dean, Asia, and Dorsey are your starters for the Panthers. But we are getting ready for tip off here. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Y'all give us a shout out. With the number, just what's the number, Daniel? It's on YouTube chat. On YouTube chat. On YouTube chat. Shoot it, Daniel's sitting there waiting. Y'all give us a shout out. Let us know where you're watching the game. At. We like to know that and keep up with everybody.
All right, referees are coming to the middle. Number two will be the tipping off for Irwin County, and that'll be Austin along with Dorsey for the Panthers. Lady Panthers once again are eight and O. They went over to Calhoun and won a little Christmas tournament over the holidays. Dorsey wins the tip. Dionysia with the ball. She'll bring it down. She'll give it up to Makaya. Over to Mai Mai, down to Dorsey. Dorsey spins, drives to the basket. Fade away. Can't get it to fall. Rebound Indians. Here come the Indians. Austin bringing it down the court all the way. Dorsey's going to block it, but she got into her with her body. So that'll be foul number one on Dorsey. That'll put Austin at the free throw line for Irwin. Second shot on the way for Austin. Up and in. Good shot by Austin. They lead one to nothing now. Here come the Panthers. Venetia with the ball. She'll give it up to Mai Mai. Over to Micaiah. Down to Dean. Dean, turn around. Backs up. Can't get it to fall. Rebound. Venetia. Mai Mai's going to drive in now. Back. To Denisha, she took a long shot. Dean with the rebound, can't get it to go. Micaiah fighting for it. Dean will come up. Panthers keep it. Good save over there by Mama for the Panthers. Let's set it back up now. Denisha over to Micaiah. Back out now, back to Denisha. She's going to drive in. Left-handed layup, up and in. Good shot. Two to one, Panthers on top. Here comes Austin with the Indian, then she's gonna double dribble. That'll be a turnover. Here come the Panthers with the ball. Dionysia bringing it down for the Panthers. Over to Makaya, long three. Oh, off the back of the rim, almost got it to fall. She got her own rebound. Mama with the ball now. Mama pull up 12 footer. Off the front of the rim. Irwin County tipped it. Nope, they said the Panthers touched it last. Ellis will bring it in for the Indians. She's going to bring it down. Panthers will pick her up at half court. They got her trapped. Good job there. Back to Austin. Back over to Ellis now. Ellis get it down low to 21. Up and in. Good shot there by Smith. Three to two, Irwin back on top now. Micaiah looking over to my Mai, Mai, down to Dean. Dean, turn around. In and out, couldn't get it to fall. Rebound, Irwin. Here comes Austin. Back down the court to the Indians. She'll pull up at the free throw line. She'll miss it, Dean with the rebound. Come the Panthers now. Dean, good pass to my Mai, Mai coming under the basket. That's gonna be a foul. They're gonna call that on number one, Ellis. That'll be her first. That'll put Mama on the free throw line. Mama's first shot up and in. We're tied up three apiece now. Second free throw on the way in and out. Couldn't get it to fall. Good rebound in there by 23. That's forward for the Indians. Austin trying to get it over to Smith. She'll lose it. Here come the Panthers now. Dionysia with the ball. She'll throw one up. She's going to draw a foul. Foul will be on 23. That is Ford. That'll be her first. That's going to put Dionysia at the free throw line now. Three to three. We're tied up. 5-28 to play here in the first quarter. We're just starting. Good shot by Dionysia. Three points for her tonight. Panthers on top now, four to three. Second free throw on the way up and in. 
Panthers lead five to three now. Here come the Indian. Panthers in a press. Going to throw it down low. They were trying to hit 21 down low. That was Smith, Emily Smith, and just a little too high for her to handle. So here come the Panthers now. Five to three, clinch on top. Makaya over to Mai Mai. Back in, Asia has it. Asia will give it up to Dean. Turn around, trying to use the backboard, couldn't get it to fall. Mai Mai has the rebound. They're going to fight for it. Jump ball. And Irwin has the possession error, so they'll take over. Panthers in a man-to-man -man now, it looks like. Full court. Five second, I think, violation. That'll be a turnover. No, foul, number two. That's Austin, that'll be her first. She was pushing off. All right, here come the Panthers. Dinesha over to Mama. Mama, long three. Overshot the basket. Long pass from number two to number one. Good hustle down there by Asia. Looked like it was going to be an easy basket for the Indians, and Ellis thought she had one, but Asia coming from behind and will knock it out of bounds. Austin with the ball. She's going to take a long three for the Indians off the backboard. Good shot by Austin. Six to five now, Irwin on top. My, my, we're trying to get it to Asia. Asia got it. Double team, Dean with the rebound. She'll put it up and in. Good shot by Dean. Panthers back on top, seven to six now. Here comes Irwin, good job by Denisha to knock it down. Makaya trying to get a layup. Dean throwing it up, can't get it to fall. There's another miss. My, my, finally get it to fall for the Panthers. Nine to six now, Panthers on top of Irwin. Oh, 23 had it. That was Ford, she'll lose it. My, my, with an easy layup. 11 to six. Irwin said, I've seen enough. Let's take a quick timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Newsflash, great goings on at Walker Jones GMC. Right now, 0% financing the most qualified buyers on your new professional grade vehicle at Walker Jones. Like the new 22 GMC Canyon Crew Cab and Onyx Black with a 3.6 liter V6. Take advantage of this limited time savings extravaganza before it goes away. Come see Walker Jones GMC in the new facility. Memorial Drive in Waycross. GMC, we are professional grade. Walker Jones GMC. Online at walkerjonesgmc.com. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. I got my buddy Daniel Munoz and our main partner, Beth Grady, up in Atlanta watching. Panthers lead 11 to 6 over Irwin County. First game of a doubleheader tonight. Lady Panthers come in 8-0, ranked number three in the state. Here come Irwin now. 11-6, Panthers on top. Irwin having trouble getting it across half court. There's another tip. Good job. Smith had it. She'll lose it. Panthers got it now. Dinesha with the ball for the Panthers. Here she comes. She's going to take it all the way. Good pass to my my. My my will draw a foul on number 23. That's Ford, that's gonna be her second. Let's see if we'll get a sub to come in. My mm. my at the free throw line. First one is a miss. Talbert will check in now for Micaiah. She'll take her a little breather. Second free throw on the way for the Panthers. This time, my, my, nothing but net. 12 to six now, Panthers on top. Panthers in a press. 3.33 to play in the first quarter. Here we go. Austin will bring it in. She'll give it to Ellis, right back to Austin. Austin dribbling through, good job. She's gonna find Smith down low. She couldn't get it to fall. 
Dinesha with the rebound. They're letting them play tonight. That's the timeout. Irwin's going to call a timeout. We'll stay right here. It's just a 30-second timeout. Irwin called timeout to keep possession. Right. Let's go, Asia Hood from the Brooks County family. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Ann and Miss Smiley. Ann, <laughs> Miss Ann and Smiley watching from Northgate. I know Miss Ann's watching. She don't miss it, her and Smiley. We appreciate y'all turning in, darling. We'll be right back here tomorrow night. Coffee County in the house, and then me and Daniel will load up Tuesday and head over to, where are we going Tuesday, Daniel? Eccles County. So we're going to be here every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday for the next month, it looks like. All right, here comes Irwin now, trailing 12 to 6. Good steal by Mama. She's going to dribble around one. Talbert trip fall. Good pass by Mama to Dean down low. Dean up and in. Four points for her tonight. 14 to six now, Panthers lead. Austin with the ball, she'll give it up to Ellis. Back to Austin. Austin trying to get down low. Good job by Dean with the steal. Over to my my. Easy layup for my my. My my with two, four, five, six, eight. First quarter points so far. 16 to six now, Panthers lead. Austin trying to dribble, Talbert had it, she'll knock it away, Mama with another steal. Another layup for Mama. 18 to six now, Panthers starting to pull away. 220 to play in the first. Long pass, there's another steal by Asia. Asia back over to Mama. Mama, good pass to Dean down low. Dean thought she was fouled, good job by Talbert to control it. Dionysia with the shot from the free throw line. Couldn't get it to fall. She'll get it to Dean. Turn around jumper, can't get it to go. Good job by Dionysia over to Talbert. Panthers missed about five shots there. Austin really wind it, number two for Irwin. She's been hustling up and down the court. Number 24 coming to the game, that's Johnson for the Indians. Mama, pull up jumper, can't get it to go. Johnson rebound, we got a jump ball. Irwin has possession. Panthers got a sub coming in, that's number 10, that's Riley will come in, Dean will take a break. 1.53 to play here in the first. Panthers lead 18 to six. Austin bringing it down. Oh boy, Asia had that one time just right. Just off her fingertips. Panthers will get possession. Here comes Denisha down the court. She'll give it over to Talbert. Talbert with the long three off the back of the rim. Riley, I think they're gonna call her. Yep, that'll be her first foul. She was on the back. Second team foul for the Panthers. 18 to six, 137 to play, clock running. She needs help, good job by the Panthers. There's another steal, Asia with it. Asia will draw a foul. That's gonna be on number four. That's Smith, that'll be her first foul. Asia to bring it in now, she'll give it up to Dionysia. Here come the Panthers. Over to Talbert. Talbert thought about it. Oh, trying to get it to Asia. Panther turnover. Here comes Ellis down the court for the Indians. Back out to Austin. Long three. She can't get it to go. Panthers save it. Mama does. And going out of bounds. She's going to take it from one end to the other. She'll draw a foul. So they're going to call this one on. Number 24, that's Johnson. That'll be her first foul. That'll put Mama back at the free throw line now. 54 seconds to play here in the first. First shot off the back of the rim. Couldn't get it to fall. We have a sub coming in. Asia will take a break. And Makaya back in the game for the Panthers. 
Second free throw on the way. My mom will make that one. 19 to six now, Panthers lead. Ellis with the ball. She almost lost it. She'll give it up to Johnson. Johnson over to that's number two, Austin. Austin driving in, can't get it to go. Dinesha with the rebound, man. It's gonna roll off her foot. Panthers will lose it. 19-6, 37 seconds to play here in the first. Irwin's gonna throw it, it's gonna get, she saved it. Good job, Talbert with the ball for the Panthers now. From one end to the other, she'll miss it and she'll draw a foul. And they're gonna call that on 24, let's see here. That will, that's on Johnson and that'll be her second foul. That'll put Talbert at the free throw line for the Panthers. First shot up and she'll miss it. Second free throw on the way. Talbert got it to fall this time. 20 to six now, 31 seconds to play. Many will come in the game now. Denise will take a break. Harris is in, number 25. Ellis with the ball, she's gonna throw it down. Good job by my mind, another steal. She's looking, she'll give it up to Talbert. Left-handed layup, couldn't get it to fall. Mama trying to go up, she will. See the fouls on this time. Shooting two and they're gonna call that on number four. That'll be her second, that's Smith. Mama back at the free throw line with 19 seconds. My mind with already 11 points here in the first quarter. First shot on the way up and in. 12 now for my mind. Oh, second free throw up and in for my mind. 13 for her now. 22 six, clock running, 15 seconds. Oh, good move. Ellis, she did, thought the other one was gonna be there. Bad pass, but look out, Mikayo missed the layup. Mama with the rebound, four, three, two, many trying to shoot. And that's gonna be it for the first quarter. It's the Panthers, 22 to Irwin County, six. We'll be back in 60 seconds. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. All right, everybody, we're back live here at Clinch County here at the gym. Panthers leading Irwin County 22 to 6. Started out close, but the Panthers pulled away big time. Let's see, we're going to have a trip. They're going to call that on Riley, number 10. That's going to be our second foul. Ellis will bring it in for the Indians. She'll get it to Austin. Long three off the front of the rim. Rebound number 11. She'll put it up. Minnie had it in and out of her hand. She can't hold on to it. Good defense by Talbert all over them. That'll cause them to turn it over. Good job by Talbert for the Panthers. 
Macayo bring it in and she'll give it up to Talbert. Here comes Talbert. Over to Riley. Riley down to Minnie. Minnie looking. Turn around. She's going to throw one up. Can't get it. Oh, and they're going to call a foul on my my. She was on her back. That'll be her first foul. 22-6, 7-11 to play here in the first half. All right, here come the Indians, Irwin County in the black uniforms, Panthers, the Lady Panthers in white. Ellis with the ball, Just give it up. Long shot, can't get it to go. Rebound in there, Riley. Riley will give it to Dean. Here comes Dean and the Lady Panthers. Dean looking for Asia. Somehow Asia got it. She had to get us off the backboard. She was wide open, just a little high on the pass. Ellis bringing it down for the Indians now. Over to Austin. Back to Ellis. Ellis over to number 11. That's Wynn. Oh, man, they had 14 down low. That was Lake just off her fingertips. 22-6, clock running. Panthers lead. Riley with the ball. Back over to Micaiah. Asia with it now, back over to Riley. Dean, turn around, jumper off the rim. Riley with the rebound, she'll put it up, she'll miss it. Mini jump ball, let's see, and jump ball, and it's Irwin with the possession. Number 23 will check in, that's Ford. For the uh, Indians, and Dorsey back in now for the Panthers. Mini will take a break. Ellis with the ball, she'll lose it. Good steal by Dorsey. Riley saves it, back out to Dean, up and in. Six points for Dean tonight, 24-6. Indians need a basket, good. Pass down low to 23, she'll miss it. 11 with the shot, she'll miss it. Dorsey with a big rebound, she's gonna throw it deep down to Dean. Dean trying to save it. Dionysia is going to check in now. Riley will take a break. 24 6, 5.38 to play here in the first half. Here come the Indians now. Austin dribbling around. She's going to take it all the way up and in. Good shot by Austin. Six points for her tonight. 24 to 8. Dionysia bringing it down for the Panthers. Over to Makaya. Akaya to Dorsey, Dorsey looking. Dribble, three seconds to be called on the Panthers. Dean was at the back door down there waiting. She just got planted in the paint. Couldn't get out of it. Good job by Makaya with the steal. She'll pass it over to Danicia and she'll lay it up and in. Six points for Danicia, 26 to eight now. Dinesha with another shot. She's going to draw a foul. That's going to be on Ellis. That's going to be her second. Lady Panthers, the number three ranked team in the state. Team Turner County's ranked number two there in our region. And to go ahead and circle the calendar. Here in Homerville, January the 20th, it'll be Turner County and Clinch County. Second shot up and in for Dionysia. 27 to eight, good steal over there by my mind. She come in and laid it up and with a miss. She has it, she got it to Asia. Back to my mind. Oh! Good job, 23 down there for the Indians. That's Ford playing pretty good defense. Panthers keep possession. Dean with it, she's gonna jump up. Oh, couldn't get it to fall. Dorsey with it, she'll throw it up, can't get it. Asia with it, she'll throw it up. 
and one. She almost got it to fall. That'll put Asia at the free throw line. I don't know who they called the foul on on that one. Asia will be shooting two. First shot off to the side. Second shot, we got a lane violation, so no basket. Here come the Indians now. 27 to eight, Panthers on top. Austin bringing it down. She'll throw a good steal by Asia. Over to Denisha now. Over to my 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 trying to lay it up. Good job by Austin to hustle back for Irwin. Prevented my my from making an easy layup. Dionysia will bring it in for the Panthers. Got it to Dorsey. Dorsey looking for Dean. Good job by Johnson to save it. Dean tried to bounce it off of her. Indians needing a basket down here. Oh, number four got tied. Oh, they said she walked. That was Smith. She got tripped up. That'll be a turnover. Here come the Panthers now. 3.55 to play in the first half. Asia with the ball down to Dean. Dean pull up, got it. About an eight foot jumper for Dean. 29-8 now, Panthers on top. Ellis with the ball, she'll lose it. Dorsey will steal it. Long pass from Dorsey to Dean. Dean lays it up and in. 31 to eight. We got a timeout. The other referee said it's slick. I'm looking for little Winston to come running out with his towel. All right, here come the Indian now. Austin will save it. She'll pass it over to Smith. She'll miss it. Dean with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. 31-8, Trench on top. Mama with the ball, Dorsey with it. Back out to Mama. Dinesha, long three, overshot it. Dorsey, big rebound up and in. Good shot by Dorsey. 33-8 now. There's a steal by Dorsey, over to Dinesha. Oh, she can't get it to fall. Mama with the rebound. Left-handed. Can't get it to fall. <laughs> Dionysia and Dorsey fighting over it, and they'll lose it out of bounds. Many will check in for the Panthers now. Dorsey will take a break. Two thirty-five to play in the first half. Indians finally get it across. There's a shot number four. That was uh, Smith. She'll miss it. Denisha, a long pass out to my mind. She'll lay it up and in. 15 points for my mind tonight, 35 to eight. Austin with the ball, she's gonna drive in. Oh, and they're gonna call that on Asia. That'll be her first foul. That'll put Austin at the free throw line, shooting a one and one. She has six points tonight. First free throw off the rim. Talbert's gonna check in now. Dean will take a break. She's holding her side. Often second shot on the way. Off the back of the rim, Talbert with the rebound. Here comes Talbert. Oh, it'll be knocked out of bounds. Panthers will keep possession. No, they're gonna call a foul also. On number one, that's Ellis. That'll be her third foul. They're gonna leave her in, Minnie with the ball. That sky hook by Minnie off the side of the rim. Couldn't get it to go. Here comes Irwin now, Austin with the ball.
foul on Austin, number two. I don't know what the foul was. She had the ball. Oh, blocking. That'll be her second. Scott said it was blocking. All right, here come the Panthers now. 148, clock running, long three. Boom! My, my, with the three-pointer. Got it to fall. 38 to eight. Oh, oh, Ellis will lose it out of bounds. Here come the Panthers. Dionysia is going to bring it in. I don't know. Oh, there's a steal by My My. She'll lay it up and in. I tell you what, My My has had a first half. 40 to eight. Ellis with the ball, she'll lose it. Here comes My My again over to Talbert. Talbert all the way, almost got it. My My rebound up and in again. My My putting on a clinic. 42 to eight. Talbert with the steal, she'll miss it. Indians trying to get down there. Johnson with the ball now for Irwin. She'll pass it over to Smith up and in. Good job. Smith with the basket. Four points for her tonight. 42 to 10. 40 seconds. Clock running. Many will catch it. Good job there. Number four for Irwin. That was Smith. Knocked it away. Ellis trying to do a layup. They're going to call that on number five, Dionysia, and that'll be her first foul. 42 to 10. Panthers up by 32 with 31 seconds to play here in the first half. First free throw on the way, she'll miss it. Riley will check in, my mile sit down. We won't see my mile no more here in the first half probably. Ellis, second shot, she'll miss that one and out of bounds. Dionysia will bring it in for the Panthers. Talbert with the ball. The clock's running now. 25 seconds. They're working it over. Trying to get it to Asia. Rough down low. Asia don't, she likes it like that. There's Minnie with the rebound now. Minnie will dribble around. She needs some help. She'll get it to Talbert. Talbert over to Riley. Riley trying to throw it up. Good job there. 23 with a piece of it. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and that's it. It's been all Clinch County since the very first tip. It's Clinch 42, Irwin 10 at the half. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs, so don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. 
With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. 
drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Newsflash, great goings on at Walker Jones GMC. Right now, 0% financing the most qualified buyers on your new professional grade vehicle at Walker Jones. Like the new 22 GMC Canyon Crew Cab and Onyx Black with a 3.6 liter V6. Take advantage of this limited time savings extravaganza before it goes away. Come see Walker Jones GMC in the new facility. Memorial Drive in Waycross. GMC, we are professional grade. Walker Jones GMC. Online at walkerjonesgmc.com. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. Hi right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Daniel Munoz and Miss Beth Grady helping us. We are, the Panthers is leading 42 to 10 at the half to start the third quarter. The top scores for the Panthers in my mind with 22 points. Dean with 10, Dionysia with 7, Dorsey with 2, and Talbert with 1. The top scored for the Panthers. Panthers with the ball. My, my, looking. She's going to drive in. Good pass to Minnie down low. Off the backboard. She couldn't get it to fall. A rebound, Indians. Smith with the ball. She'll give it up to Austin. Smith with it now, looking, trying to get it back. Panthers will knock it out of bounds. Irwin will keep possession. Austin with the ball, she's gonna drive in. Minnie will knock it out of bounds. Good job by the Panther defense. 
Austin with it again, trying to set up a play. She'll kick it out along three off the front of the rim. My, my with the rebound for the Panthers. From one end to, oh, trip. She's going to fall down. Got a foul, and they're going to call that on number four. That is Smith. That'll be her third foul. 42 to 10. Lady Panthers up. Makaya, good pass, got it to my, 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 couldn't get it to fall, got a rebound and tried it again. Ellis bringing it down all the way, good defense by the Panthers. They get it to Austin, Austin, long three off the side of the rim. And out of bounds, Panthers will take over now. Dionysia will bring it in for the Panthers. Here comes Makaya for the Lady Panthers. Over to Dionysia. Looking to get it to Asia. Asia down low to Mini. Mini's dribble looking. Turn back to Asia. Asia back to Mini. Three seconds. Call on the Lady Panthers. So they'll turn it over. Clock running, 6.15 here in the third. Lady Panthers up by 32, 42 to 10. Ellis with the ball, she'll kick it down, good pass. Irwin cannot buy a shot, there's another miss. Knocked out of bounds. Irwin keeps possession. Austin, another long three off the rim. Dionysia with the rebound. Here come the Lady Panthers. She's going to take it all the way. She'll pull up off the back of the rim. Couldn't get it to fall. Good a rebound in there by Smith for the Indians. She'll give it up to Austin. They're going to call a foul on Asia. And that's going to be Asia's second foul. That'll put number two, Austin, at the free throw line for Irwin. Good looking crowd here tonight. The whole home side is about full. Good shot by Austin. First shot up and in. Seven points for Austin tonight. Second free throw on the way. The back of the rim couldn't get it to go. Makaya with the rebound. Here come the Lady Panthers. She'll give it up to Dionysia. Dionysia looking. She's going to throw up a long three. Overshot it. Asia trying to save it. Couldn't do it. Panthers will turn it over. Here comes Irwin County now. 42 to 11. Smith with the ball, give it up to Ellis. Back to Smith. Austin, Austin was trying to hit Smith, going back to the basket. She wasn't ready, here comes my my the other way, got it up and in. 44 to 11 now. Ellis all the way down the court, good shot. 44-13. Makaya bringing it back down for the Lady Panthers. Over to Dionysia. She needs help. There she goes. They get it to Minnie. Minnie dribbling. She'll lose it. No good save by Asia. Somehow jump ball. Good job by Ellis. She'll reach in and tie it up. Panthers going to bring in three subs. They have Riley, Talbert, and Dean coming in the game now. Makaya and Asia stay on the court. Twenty-three, and that—I don't know what the foul was on that one. Four—that'll be her third. 
Now what it was, she threw a block. It wasn't a screen, it was a block. <laughs> a blind side. From one end to the other, she's gonna draw a foul. That's on number four. And that's gonna be Smith, and that'll be her fourth foul. Looks like they're gonna leave her out there. Here with 3.45 to play in the third. Akaya, first shot off the back of the rim. Dorsey getting ready to check back in for the Panthers. Akaya, second one, up and in, good shot. 47-13. Here come the Indians now. Austin with the ball. Get it down low to Smith, 23. She can't get it. Good job by Dean. Dean trying to hit Talbert. Just overthrew her just a hair. Big rebound. Clock running, 320 to play in the third. Austin, they're going to chip up. 13 for the Panthers. That's Stevens reaching in down there. Stevens will bring it in. she get it to Talbert. With a Riley. Riley to Dean. Dean will save it. Back to, to Riley. Riley will miss it. Stevens up and in. Good shot by Stevens. Forty-nine, thirteen now. Austin had to pick her dribble up, help her. They finally do. They get it. Twenty-three. That's Ford. Ford to turn it over. Dorsey has it. She'll give it up to Talbert. Talbert lays it out. Oh, couldn't get it to go. Oh, she's aggravated. Easy layup. She missed it. She knew it. So we got a jump ball. We have a sub coming in the game. Austin will take a break. Number 11, that's Wynn will come in. Forward with the ball. She's gonna throw one up, can't get it to go. Oh, Stevens had it off and running. Good job by Johnson for the Indians. Knocked it out of her hands. Oh, Stevens with almost with another steal. No, that was Talbert, excuse me. Stevens and Talbert, they, they look about like twins. Dorsey will tie it up. Jump ball, she just reached out and grabbed it. 21, Emily Smith now will check in for the Indians. Stevens will bring it in for the Panthers. Talbert with the ball, she'll give it up to Stevens. O'Reilly had it, there's Stevens, back door, she couldn't get it to fall, Dean rebound up and in. Dean using that backboard good. 51-13 now, minute 30 to play in the third. I think Irwin wanted a timeout, it was fixing to be a turnover. We'll stay right here. Give me a chance to shout out to all our sponsors. And man, if y'all would love to come a sponsor, you let me or Daniel or Miss Beth Grady know. We can hook you up and you can come on and join the Creek Box family. We have Big Daddies on Highway 84, Burt, CPA, and Adam Toll, Camping World of Alasta, Big K, and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Clint Memorial Family Practice. Clint Memorial Pharmacy and Clint Memorial Hospital. Douglas Meadow, Mr. Ash and the Dairy Queen. Homerville Jewelers, Huey's One Stop, Lutz Brown Insurance, Walker Jones of Waycross, 
Napa Auto, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Dre Snack Shack, and Barnyard Barbecue. We appreciate them being sponsored for Creek Box and allowing me and Daniel and Beth to bring you the play-by-play -play in football, basketball, girls, softball, and baseball. Oh, we got some young Panthers in. Number 24 for the Panthers, that's Morris. Her feet got tied up. Morris tried to help her up. They're gonna call that foul on her and that'll be her first. Fifty-one thirteen. Windshield wipers. That will put Ellis at the free throw line for Irvin. There's some confusion on the court. I think they're gonna have to buzz Austin in. Anna Lee into the game for the Panthers. Talbot will take a break. Anna Lee George. Austin first free throw she'll miss. I think what happened, the one that got hurt was supposed to be shooting the free throws, but she couldn't. So they'll bring Austin in to shoot the free throws for. Second one up and in for Austin. 51-14 now, 116 to play in the third. Austin will come right back out now. Stevens bringing it down for the Panthers. She'll give it up to Riley. Went through her hands. Here come the Indians. Riley knocking it back out of bounds. Irwin will keep possession. Ellis with the ball. Looking, looking, nowhere to go. Good defense over here by Stevens. She throw one up, can't get it. Riley with the rebound, here she comes. She's gonna slow it down. She'll get it to, Ma oh, Morris. Hey. <laughs> she would go into the basket. Hey. That'll be foul number two on her. She stuck her arm out like the bionic woman and she slid, what, 20 feet? She didn't mean to do it on purpose. She was ready to make a basket. All right, here come the Indians now. 45 seconds, clock running. There's a long three in and out, can't get it to go. Johnson with the rebound, she'll throw it up. Got it to go, good job by Johnson, number 24. 51-16 now. Panthers had the ball, Riley with it. She'll give it up to Morris. Morris looking. Dorsey back to Morris. Morris driving in again. Be another foul. <laughs> Morris, they step in front of her. She couldn't help it. That'll be Morris's third foul. Morris, yep, she's gonna come out because Chase don't want her to pick up that fourth foul. 51-16. Could the Lady Indians. 12 seconds here in the third quarter. 10 seconds. Eight seconds. Six seconds. Long three, four seconds. Oh, and they're gonna draw a foul on number 13 for the Panthers, and that is Stevens. That'll be her first. 
with 2.5 seconds to play here in the third. 51-16. Sloppy third quarter for both teams. Ellis will miss the first one. Second shot on the way. Got it this time. Good shot there by Ellis. 51-17. 2.5 second clock running. And that's going to get us to the fourth period. Panthers leading 51. Irwin, 17. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Daniel Munoz up here, and this is the fourth and final period here in game one between the Clinch County Panthers and the Lady Indians from Irwin County. Johnson with the ball down low for Irwin, she'll miss it. Jump ball, let's see who has the possession, the Panthers do. 51-17. Y'all hang around, we're gonna take about a 10, 15 minute break after this game. And the boys will play and that's gonna be a great game. They played earlier before Christmas with the Panthers coming out on top by six points. Coach Terrence George has the Clinch County Panthers with a six and one record. Went over to Calhoun, played in the Christmas tournament, and their only loss come to the hands of Calhoun. Good shot there by Austin by eight points. Who do they call that foul on? 12. Maya Williams. I guess that's what they call it on. I don't know. Austin trying to make it a three-point play, and she will. Good shot. 51 to 20 now. Here come the Panthers. Oh, Stevens saved it. Dribbles back to the goal, she'll lose it. Oh, the referee almost stepped on her hand, bless her heart. Panthers will turn it over. And we're going to have a timeout. With that, we'll take a break and we'll be back in 30 seconds. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-234. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We got Miss Nett watching the game. She said she appreciates Creek Box and she loves us. We appreciate you tuning in, darling. You need to come on out here. I see Rollo and Trini sitting down there with Jet. Miss Nett probably got that grandbaby. Right. Mars getting ready to check back in. She had three fouls. <laughs> Johnson at the free throw line. 
Nanog's in now, I think. Let's see, that's uh, Mingo, number 14. Here comes Morris in the game. Riley will take a break. Lexi says, let's go, Panthers. She's tuning in. Yeah, Anna Lee George is in. Coach Chase getting a lot of these young Panthers in, which it just helps. Johnson will miss it. Marsh with the rebound. She'll get it out to number 12. That's Williams. Williams. Oh, good job. Austin will steal it from Stevens. Here come the Indians. It's 51 to 20, 455 to play. Austin, good layup. She's the leading scorer for the Indians. You can believe that. A long three off the backboard almost went in. Steven slapping, got it away. Coach Chase trying to get up and get a timeout. They'll get a jump ball. Panthers have the possession. Austin, let's see, she had six, eight, ten, twelve. She has 13 of the 22 points for her one. Two, four, Irwin said, we're going to play with four. Don't need, no, they got five. Austin with the rebound for the Indians. Hit a kind of long pass. Couldn't get it. Number 11 tried. She did save it somehow. Good job there by Mingo to knock it out of bounds. Mingo will bring it in. Here come the Panthers now. She's going to be a great athlete, too. Mars, three, overshot it. Williams with the rebound, can't get it to go. Mingo in there fighting for it. Here come the Indians now. Austin, this in. Good job, number 13. That's Stevens will knock it away. That'll stop the clock. 4.04 to play in the game. First shot on the way for Austin. Got it, good shot. Fourteen points for Austin now, second one. Got it, fifteen points for Austin. 51-24. Stevens with the ball, she'll dribble through two of them. All the way to the basket, trying to get it to Williams. Anna Lee tried to save it, couldn't get it. Talbert will check in now for the Lady Panthers. Mingo will take a break. Good hustle by Mingo. Austin with a head fake. Good pass down low. Can't get it to go. Williams with the rebound. Here comes Morris. They back away when Morris got the ball. There's a pass down there to, oh, oh, come on. I look like that Morris move. Stevens wanted it, Coach Chase wanted it. I'll tell you what, these young Panthers right here, Morris, Williams, George, Talbert, Stevens, they're gritty. They want to get out and score some points, too. 51-24, 339. The clock continues to stop. At number 22 checking in. That's Marshall for the Indians. Number 20 will take a break. That was Washington. Austin, first free throw. Up and in. Stevens with the ball, she's going to dribble it all the way, can't get it to fall. Out of bounds. Irwin has possession. Here come the Indians now, Austin taking her time. 
clock running, 320, 319. There's a turnaround jumper, can't get it to go. Talbert with the rebound. A little bit all the way, can't get it to go. She's been off just a hair tonight. She missed three or four, and she usually doesn't miss good hustle. That was Steven slid up under there. She ain't letting, she ain't even gonna get the referee the ball. She meant she was gonna get that one. Good hustle by Stevens. Here comes Minnie in the game now. Williams will take a break. Three oh two. We've been at three minutes for about five minutes now. Fifty one twenty five. Irwin's managed to cut the lead in half. Coach Chase playing a lot this whole quarter. He's played all the young girls. Good to see them out here. Oh, trying to get it down low. Irwin was the number 22. That was Marshall. Went off her fingertips. Stevens will bring it in for the Panthers now. Tal Talbert with the ball. Here she comes. She gets it across half court. Now all the here to Mars. Boom! Long three by Mars. Great shot. First three point basket for the Panthers tonight. 54 25. Irwin will throw it away. Number 14 for the Indians will check in now. Let's see. That is Lake for the Lady Indians. Here comes Talbert now, bringing it back down for the Panthers. 2.25 to play. Stevens with the ball. She's gonna throw one up. They got a piece of that one. She'll draw a foul, so she'll shoot three. That was number one, that's Ellis. That'll be foul number four on Ellis. All right, Stevens' first shot on the way. Steven has two points tonight. He missed the first one, second shot on the way. Oh, almost got it to fall. Third shot. Couldn't get it off the back of the rim. Indians with the rebound, here they come. Ellis all the way from one end to the other. Good pass by Ellis. Oh, they couldn't convert it. Gonna draw a foul. 2.09 to play, the clock stopped. 13 Stevens again. That's her second foul. That's gonna put With that postal at the free throw line, she'll miss the first one. Second shot coming up. Got that one. Good shot by Postal. Morris will bring it in. 209. Run clock run. 54-26. Talbert to give it up to Stevens. Stevens all the way back across Talbert. Talbert trying to get it to Annalee Lee down low. Annalee Lee tripped from behind. She'll bounce back up. Good job by Talbert. Many will throw that hook up. She'll draw a foul. Gotta put Many at the free throw line now. <laughs> Many ready to hit that basket. Any first shot on the way. Boom, got it, good shot by Minnie. 55-26. Mingo back in the game now, along with Williams. Minnie's second shot on the way.
Up and got it. Good shot by Minnie. She made both of them. 56 26. Clock running 145. 140. Good defense over there by Mars. Panthers got her surrounded. Many will steal the ball. They're going to call it a jump ball. I thought many snatched it out. Panthers have the possession. Here come the Panthers now. Talbert pushing it down over to Harris. Boom! Morris in and out. Almost had a three. Indian back down, she'll throw one up. There's gonna be a foul call. That's gonna be on number one. That's Talbert, that'll be her second. 1.15 to play. We're gonna take about a 12, 15 minute break here after this game and we have a, a running gun. Pinch County Panthers Getting ready to take the court. The boys game ought to be a very good game between them and the lady and the Charlton, Charlton County. I'm sorry, Irwin County. <laughs> yeah, Joshua's looking for daddy. He's wanting some popcorn money. <laughs> good shot there by number 23. That's Ford. 56-27. Get it over, good pass, Mingo go down low to Anna Lee. She'll make the basket and one. 58, 27, there's Jaw Jaw, he found the bank. Need some money. Joshua, you want some Hershey Kisses? You want some Hershey Kisses? <laughs> And Lee's free throws, she couldn't get it. Rebound by Stevens for the Panthers. She's looking, needs some help. She'll get it out to Mingo. Mingo's gonna throw one up. Oh, off the back of the rim. Clock running, 50 seconds. 58-27, Panthers on top. Mingo all over her. Ford will have to get rid of it. They throw it down low. And Lee with the steal, back out to Ford. Ford with the ball. All the way, trying to throw it up. Stevens with the rebound, can't get it to go. I said she walked, it'll be a turnover. Ford took an extra step. Mingo will bring it in for the Panthers. 28 seconds to play. Morris will throw one up, can't get it to go. Look out, come the Indians back down this end. She'll lose it, Annalee all over. She'll lose it out of bounds. Irwin keeps possession, 18 seconds to play now. 58-27, Ford bringing it in for the Indians. Five second violation, they'll turn it over. Here comes Stevens for the Panthers, bringing it down. Looking, she'll give it over to Morris. Morris got it to Williams. Williams will throw one up, can't get it to go. Rebound Irwin, three, two, one. And that's gonna do it. The final, Clinch 58, Irwin 27. Panthers put it away pretty much in the first half. My mind's going to end up with, let's see, 22, 24 total points. Uh, let's look here. We got Dean ended up with 10, 14 points. And none of them played the fourth quarter. Talbert with one point. Uh, Stevens with two points. Anna Lee with two points. Dorsey with two points. Morris with three points and a big three-pointer, and Harris with two points. Top scorer on the other end for the uh, Lady Indians will be, let's see, six, eight, 
10, 12, 14, 16 points, and that was Smith. Oh, no, excuse me, that was Austin. She played a great game. Well, we're going to take a little break, and we'll be back for the boys. So y'all hang tight right where you're at. We'll be right back. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game 
to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Newsflash. Great goings on at Walker Jones GMC. Right now, 0% financing the most qualified buyers on your new professional grade vehicle at Walker Jones. Like the new 22 GMC Canyon Crew Cab and Alex Black with a 3.6 liter V6. Take advantage of this limited time savings extravaganza before it goes away. Come see Walker Jones GMC in the new facility. Memorial Drive in Waycross. GMC, we are professional grade. Walker Jones GMC. Online at walkerjonesgmc.com. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. 
With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia.
All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz up here with me. We're fixing to start game two, the boys' game. The boys from Clinch County come in with a six and one record. Their only loss coming to the hands of Calhoun County. They're ranked number five in Class A. Uh, ought to be an exciting game. These two teams played during the Christmas break, right before Christmas, and uh, the Panthers squeaked away with a six-point victory over Nocilla. We're going to get ready to announce the starters here. There's your five starters for the Irwin County Indians. That is Payne, Lake, Martin, Woodard, and Zay Payne. Panthers is Ingram, Tucker Robbins, Aaron Bryant, Jeremy Dale, Layton, number 24, is a starter. Well, there's your starters for both teams. We're getting ready. We just finished up the girls' game with the Lady Panthers. One, 53 to 40. No, excuse me. Let me find my sheet back here. It was worse than that. The Lady Panthers won 58 to 27. All right, jumping for the Panthers will be Jeremy Bell, number 13, against number three, Lake. Lake probably about five inches taller than Bell. And he'll win the top jump, but it'll knock it out of bounds, so the Panthers will take over. Oh, right, they're going to re-jump. Well, here we go, Bale and Lake again. This time, Bale got up. Good job by Bryant. He'll get it out to Ingram, back to Bryant. Bryant looking, he's gonna pull up 12 footer, overshot the basket. Big 14 with the rebound, that was Woodard. Here come the Indians now. Payne driving in and he'll dump it off to Zay. Good move there, number five. That's Martin driving in. He'll get the basket. Bell will draw a foul. Let's see if they're going to call that one on. To get to the basket, number 14, the big man, Woodard. That'll be his first. Gonna put Bell at the free throw line for the Panthers. The home side is packed full tonight. Good crowd here. Bale's first free throw on the way. Got it, good shot by Jeremy. Second shot on the way for the Panthers. Off the back of the rim, Clayton fighting for the rebound, he tipped it, couldn't control it. Just off his fingertips. Two to one, Irwin on top. Payne will bring it in for the Indians. He'll get it out over to number 20, Zay. Zay driving. Robbins on him. Zay will kick it out over the lake. Martin with the ball now. Martin looking. Got to get rid of it. Clayton all over him. He got rid of it this time. Payne with the ball. He'll step back. I thought he did too. Bell with the rebound. He'll give it up to Robbins. Bounce pass back to Bell. Bell driving all the way in. Couldn't get the layup to go. Fighting for it. Out of bounds. Irwin will take over. Just starting here in the first quarter. Irwin leading two to one with 6.52 to play in the first. 
Save. Bringing it down for the Indians. He's going to pull up right at the three-point line. Oh, boy, he's going to get a – he got it. Coach Terrence George didn't like that one. Clayton trying to get it off. He'll draw the foul finally. Let's see if they're going to call it on. Number three, that's Lake. That'll be his first. Irwin leading four to one here early. Minute and a half into the game. Clayton, first shot on the way. Oh, Panthers struggling early at the free throw line. Second shot on the way from Clayton. In and out, can't get it to fall. Good rebound in there by Lake number three. Zay, long three off the back of the rim. Can't get it to fall. Bryant with the rebound. Long pass out to Robin. Robin driving up and in. Good shot by Tucker. Four to three now. Martin with the ball. He'll give it up to Zay. Zay dribbling around. Another three-pointer. Robin's got a piece of that one. Irwin will keep the possession. Oh, they're just out rebounding the Panthers down low here early. Oh, good job by Robbins. Got him from behind. Tucker with the ball now. He's going to come down the middle and kick it over to Bell. Bell draw a foul. That's going to be on number three. That's Lake, and that'll be foul number two on Lake. Four to three, Irwin on top. Jeremy Bell back at the free throw line again for the Panthers. First one, got it, good shot by Jeremy. Number two will check in, that is white for the Indians. Bell second shot on the way. Got it. Five to four. Panthers going to get their first lead. We're going to take a 30 second break. We'll be back. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Hi, right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box. Five to four. Panthers on top now. Irwin, long three. Got it to fall. Good shot there by number five, Martin. Seven to five now. Robin's going to throw up a three. Boom! He got it. Good shot by Tucker. Eight to seven. Panthers back on top. White dribbling. He'll give it up to Payne. Payne driving to the basket. Trying to use the backboard. Can't get it. Bell with the rebound. Out to Ingram. All the way to Bryant. Bryant driving. Good pass down low. Got it back to Ingram, got it. Good, good ball work by the Panthers. 10 to seven, clinch on top. White bringing it down for the Indians. he will get it back over to Martin. Steal by Bale, Bale all the way out. Clayton trying to drive in, he'll draw a foul. That's gonna be three fouls on Lake. Boy, we're only not even halfway through the first. Lake is fixing to have to take a seat. That'll put Clayton at the free throw line for the Panthers.
first free throw up and to the side. Number four will come in now. That uh, Laster. Lake have to take a seat with three fouls. Clayton, second shot on the way. Off the back of the rim, can't get it to go. Big number 14 with the rebound, that's Woodard. Here come the Indians now, they kick it out. Long three, can't get it to go. Another offensive rebound for the Indians. He'll pull up, long shot, got it. Payne with a pretty shot. Just inside the three-point shot. Panthers still lead 10 to nine. Bell thinking about it, he will throw up one. Off the rim, can't get it. Oh, hard collision. Number five for the Panthers. That's uh, Brown, T.J. Brown, man, hard collision. No foul called, the ball went out of bounds off Brown. Here come the Indians now, three minutes, 50 seconds left in the first. Robbins with another behind the back still, look out! Bell, who? Taking it to the house. Bell with a dunk. 12 to nine, Panthers on top now. How to get everybody up on their feet. Long three, boom, got it, number four. Lester with a three-point basket. 12 to 12, we're tied up. Clayton back over to Brown. Brown got him up in the air. Be a foul, let's see if they're gonna call this on. Number four, that's Lester, that'll be his first. That'll put Brown at the free throw line for the Panthers. We're all tied up, 12 apiece. First shot on the way, he'll miss it. Panthers struggling terribly at the free throw line here early. Second free throw on the way. Off again. Panthers have made like one of eight tonight. 12 to 12, we're tied up. Payne with the ball for the Indians. Dribbling around, he'll pull up, long shot. Bell snatches it out of the sky with the rebound. He'll give it up to Brown, driving in. Good shot by Brown. Hard collision. <laughs> Big flop. They'll call it. Who did they call that one on? What number was it on? Number one, that's Payne. That'll be his first. Robbins with the ball. Dribbling around. He's going to go to the basket. He'll kick it out to Brown. Back to Clayton. Long three. Oh, wraps around the rim, but will not go. Laster with the rebound. Here come the Indians. Now, oh, he lost it. White had it for a second and went through his legs and out of bounds. Robbins will take a break now. Bryant back in the game. Indians will check in number 20. That's Zay Payne. He's got one three-pointer tonight. Number two will take a break. That was White. Here comes Aaron Bryant bringing it down for the Panthers. Clinch on top, 14 to 12. Clayton driving to the basket, can't get it to go. He'll lose it. Woodard with the rebound for the Indians. Here comes Payne bringing it down. He's going to drive, lays it up off his left hand. Got his own rebound. Martin with the ball, he'll kick it out to Zay. Zay will miss it. Lester. Try to put it back up. Ingram slaps it against the wall. 2.02 to play here in the first. Panthers lead 14 to 12. Another long three. Can't get it to go. Ingram with the rebound. Had it. Bell will scoop it up. Look out. Bell, good. Oh, they said he, and he did. Flopped the ball. He's wanting him to take the bait to Clayton, and he was going to take it to the house, but. Good job by the Indians to keep it. 14 to 12, Panthers on top.
Zay dribbling around. He get it out to number five, trying to pass it down low to 14. Off his fingertips. Out with Woodard. Aaron with the ball, he'll get it to Ingram. Ingram looking, looking, driving to the basket. Trying to use the backboard, there'll be a foul. Oh, no foul. Number 20, Alvin Green will check in now. Ingram will take a break. Got some meat down low now with Green. They drive a good pass to Laster down to the other side. He'll lay it up and in. Five points for Laster. We're all tied up 14 apiece. Good steal there, 23. That would bear it. All the way to Zay, and Zay will lay it up and in. Irwin back on top now, 16-14. Under a minute to play in the first. Aaron will pull up. Got it! Good shot by Aaron Bryant. We got a foul. Let's see if they're going to call it on number five. That's Brown. That'll be his first foul. Zay with the ball for the Indians, dribbling around. Kick it out, 23, going to try to lay it up, can't get it. Big Green with the rebound, he'll give it up to Bell. Bell dribbles through one, through two, he'll pull up off the backboard, up and in. Good shot by Jeremy. 18-16, Panthers on top, 27, 26, 25. Long three, he's going to come up short. Out of bounds, Panthers take over with 21 seconds. Robbins will check back in the game now for the Panthers. Tucker will pick it up, clock will start. 17 seconds to kick it out to Clayton, long three. Off the rim, can't get it. Here comes the Indian Payne with the ball. Oh, good job by Green. Oh, that was Bell. I guess they're going to call that on Bell. That'll be his first foul. Ten seconds play in the first. Clinch, 18, Irwin, 16. Great game here. First free throw on the way. Got it. Good shot there by Payne. Three points for him tonight. Second free throw on the way, got it. He got both of them. Panthers moving down, five seconds, four seconds. Clayton thought about it, two, one second. Clayton trying to get it, that's gonna do it. And we're gonna finish the first quarter like we started it, all tied up, 18 apiece. We'll take a break, we'll be back in 30 seconds. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. We're starting the second quarter here. We're all tied up 18 apiece. Zay with the long three, can't get it. Laster with the rebound, he can't get it to go. Panthers keep possession. Civic Indians with the last to touch it. Here comes Robbins bringing it down. we will kick it out to Ingram, back over to Tucker. Tucker driving to the basket, lays it up and in. Good shot by Robin. 
Seven points tonight for Robin. Panther back on top, 20 to 18. Say with the ball for the Indians. Gonna dribble around, you got to stay on him, can't give him nothing. Number five gonna drive in, he'll draw a foul. That is Martin, he's got five points tonight. They're gonna call that on Alvin Green, number 20, that'll be his first foul. Martin at the free throw line, first shot up and in. Martin with six points tonight. Second shot up, he'll miss that one. Green with the rebound, he'll give it out to Robbins. 2019 Panthers on top. Oh, Robbins almost took an extra step. Tucker trying to get it down low. Good job by Ingram to save it. Robbins dribbling around, got it to Bryant. Bryant will pull up off the rim. Green fighting for it, Bryant will scoop it up. We're gonna have a foul. Number 20, that's Zay, that'll be his first foul. 20 to 19, Panthers on top. Aaron Bryan at the free throw line for the Panthers. First shot on the way, got it, good shot by Aaron. Three points for him tonight. Second free throw on the way for Aaron. Got that one too. These are going to be some big shots down the road. Panthers on top now. 22-19. Biggest lead of the night for the Panthers. Zay dribbling. Robbins on him. Zay going to drive in. Throws up a left hand. Bell got it away. No. Let's see. They're going to call him on his back. Boy, they did. Bell's second foul. See what Coach Terrence is going to do, and he's going to set him down. It looks like Clayton getting ready to come in. I didn't think Bell was on him. He jumped up high and tipped it away. Number 23 at the free throw line. That's Barrett. First shot in and out. Can't get it to fall. Bell will take a break. 640 to play in the second. Barrett's second shot on the way. Got it, good shot by Barrett. 22-20, Panthers on top. Clayton with the ball for the Panthers. He's gonna kick it out to Robbins. Long three, overshot it. Laster with the rebound, he'll throw it. Clayton got up high, knocked it away. It's gonna be an easy basket. Good hustle by Clayton. Panthers are in the white uniforms. The Indians are in the red uniforms. Barrett will bring the ball in. He got it to Zay. Back to Barrett. Over to Martin. Zay back with the ball. You got to stay on him. He can shoot. Three second violation. That'll be a turnover. Panthers have it. Robin to bring it into Clayton. Barrett all over him, he get it over to Aaron. Aaron trying to get it to Green. Looked like he had him hooked down low. Alvin's throwing up his hand saying, come on. 22-20, Panthers on top. 5.58 to play in the first half. Here come the Indians. Zay, another long three. Off the edge of the rim. And Green's getting beat up down low. Let's see, we're gonna have another three second violation. Robbins will bring it in, 5.44 to play here in the first half. Panthers on top, 22-20. Clayton over to Bryant. Clayton with the ball, dribbling around. He'll pull up, this time he got it to Green. Green 
They said he got all ball. Good defense by the Indians. Down to Barrett. Barrett will lay it up and in. We're tied up, 22 apiece. Clayton thought about it. Robbins was going to pull it. He'll back it out. Ingram will throw one up. Can't get it to fall. Here come the Indians. They can take the lead back now. Zay with the ball. He'll give it up to Barrett. Payne with it now. All the way over to Zay. Zay dribbles in. They'll dribble out. Number five, good job. That's Martin driving in. Indians on top now. Oh, foul, so no basket. All right, no basket on that one. Number five was called with a charge. That'll be his first. Right with the ball. He drives in, can't get it to fall. Both teams have went stone cold. They... Leans in and got the layup. Irwin on top, 24-22. Tucker, nowhere to go. They get it to Green. Green back out to Clayton. Clayton thought about it. He'll drive in 10-footer. Ingram with the rebound. Zay with the steal for the Indians. He'll kick it over to Payne. Payne driving in, can't get it. Clayton with another big rebound. We're going to have a foul on number one. That's Payne. That'll be his second. And a check. I don't know what he said to the referee, but he said something. Irwin's coach is wanting to have a word with the referee, but he ain't wanting to talk right now. Coach Terrence will put Robbins at the free throw line to shoot the... Tech and the Panthers will be two shots and possession. Robbins, first free throw, got it. Good shot by Tucker. Second free throw on the way. Got that one. Good job. Money in the bank for Tucker Robbins. Nine points for Tucker tonight. We're all tied up. Panthers have possession also. 24-24. Clayton with the ball. We'll get it over to number 23, and that is Raymond. Robin spinning around, he'll throw one up. Oh, it went in twice and come out. Raymond with the rebound. Back to Robbins, over to Brown. Brown got him up. Oh, he had to pull it up. Good job there by the big man. Ingram will steal the ball, he can't get it. Panthers had four shots, couldn't make them count. Zay with an easy layup down to the end. Nine points for Zay. Another turnover. Irwin on top, 26-24 now. There's a steal by Clayton and the Panthers. Three on three, Clayton driving in, he got it. We're tied up again. Irwin driving in, Robbins with the rebound on the miss. There's another Panther turnover. Oh, good job by Raymond, he'll knock it out of bounds. Coach Terrence up, coaching, tell him to calm down, slow down. Bryant getting ready to check back in for the Panthers. Robbins will take a break. 26-26, 3-0-1 to play here in the first half. Payne with the ball for the Indians. Going to drive in behind the back. Oh. On number five. That's Brown, that's gonna be his second. Oh, it's on the line, I guess you can touch it. Oh, 14, big man. 23, that's gonna be Raymond, that'll be his first. 26, 26. Yeah, one minute they roll it on the floor, and the next minute it's a touch foul.
Woodard at the free throw line. He got the first one. Good shot by Woodard. 27-26, Irwin on top now. Second free throw on the way. Got it. Good job by Woodard. 28-26 now. Irwin on top of the Panthers. 2.40 to play in the first half. Ingram with the ball. He'll give it up to Brown. Brown back to Clayton. Clayton over to Ingram, back to Clayton. Clayton, a long three, overshot it. Raymond with the rebound, he got it to Brown. They're gonna call jump ball. Oh, that was a quick jump ball. Panthers with the possession, 227 to play here in the first half. Clayton's got to get it in, got to get it in. He finally does, Aaron saves it. Bryant wanting to drive in, good job by Zay. Brown, he almost lost it, looking. Said he traveled. Yeah, it looked like he stepped on the line down low. 2.13 to play in the first half now. 28-26, Irwin on top. Biggest lead of the night's been three points by the Panthers. Great game going tonight. Zay with the ball, he'll kick it off to Laster, back to Zay. Zay over to Payne, Payne. Gonna pull it up off the back of the rim. Can't get it. Laster with a rebound out of bounds. Irwin will keep possession. Panthers the last one to touch it. Payne bringing it in. He'll give it up to Zay. Zay trying to get it to Laster down low. They're gonna give it to Clayton. Oh man. Thought Clayton had a steal. They're gonna call a jump ball. He is all alone, number five. He'll throw it up and in. Good shot by Martin. His second three tonight. 31-26, biggest lead of the night for both teams. 125, clock running. Ingram driving in. Big block by the big man, number 14, Woodard. Ingram got his rebound, can't get it. Laster with the rebound now. Here come the Indians. Good job by the Panthers. Oh, trying to save it. Laster has it now. He's going to throw it away. The Panthers have it. 103 to play in the first half. 31-26. Brown bringing it down. He'll pull it up there. And Bryant got it. A long one. Not quite a three. Good shot by Bryant, though. 31-28 now. Irwin on top. There's Zay. Got a foul, let's see if they're gonna call this one on. Number four, that's Laster. That'll be his second. Green will check in now, Ingram will take a break. 47 seconds to play, Robin's back in the game. Panthers trail by three, 31-28. Here comes Robin. He's going to take a long three off the edge of the rim. Couldn't get it to go. Come the Indians now. Payne with the ball all the way down. They're going to call a foul on Aaron Bryant, number four. That'll be Aaron first. The one and one. They're in the bonus now. 34 seconds. Coach Terrence trying to talk to the referee a little bit. They're not in the bonus now. Next foul will put them in the bonus. Zay with the ball. He dribbled out way deep. He's gonna throw up a three. Ooh, off the rim, can't get it. Green with the rebound. He'll get it out to Bryant. Bryant over to Raymond. Raymond lays it up and in. Good shot by Raymond. 
31-30 now, one point game. Seven, five seconds, four, two, one. Halftime, what a game we have. Irwin, 31, clinch, 30 at the half. We'll be back in 12 Newsflash, great goings on at Walker Jones GMC. Right now, 0% financing the most qualified buyers on your new professional grade vehicle at Walker Jones. Like the new 22 GMC Canyon Crew Cab and Onyx Black with a 3.6 liter V6. Take advantage of this limited time savings extravaganza before it goes away. Come see Walker Jones GMC in the new facility. Memorial Drive in Waycross. GMC, we are professional grade. Walker Jones GMC. Online at walkerjonesgmc.com. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient healthcare and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. 
Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. 
Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley. We've got a great game here. It's halftime. Irwin County 31, Clinch County 30. Top scores for the Panthers. You have Ingram with two points, Robbins with nine, Aaron Bryant with six, TJ Brown with two, Jeremy Bell with seven and a big dunk, Raymond with two and Clayton with two. Top scores for the Indians is Martin with nine and Zay Payne with nine. Here we go, Panthers have the ball. They're gonna kick it out. Bell with it. Bell has two fouls off the backboard. He had to set out most of the second quarter. They come down, he's gonna drive it up. Good follow up layup there by Payne. He has six points now. Irwin's on top 33-30, just starting the second half here. Bell long three, can't get it to fall. Payne with the rebound. Here comes Irwin now. Payne all the way, can't get it to fall. Bale with the rebound. He'll dribble through one. He kicks it to Clayton. Clayton all the way to the basket. Panthers cannot buy one. Let's see what we're gonna have called here. Number one with a foul. That's gonna be on Ingram. That's gonna be his first foul. Irwin moving it around, number two, that's White. He'll kick it up to the big man, Woodard, number 14, all the way across to number five, Martin. Martin with a couple of threes, good job by Robbins. Cornered him up, he's gonna step out of bounds. They have it over here, that is Robbins with it. He's gonna get it down low to Bale. Bale off the backboard, up and in. Good shot by Jeremy Bale. Thirty-three, thirty-two. Robbins with the rebound now. Oh, Robbins come back in bound, broke it up, almost got a steal, we got a man down. Let's see number five, that's Martin. We'll call a foul. We got some little fans up top there, yay! We see them on Creek Box. Hey, <laughs> up here waving. Good shot by Martin for a basket. He's got 10 points tonight. Here's Scott back, two hot dogs and a diet coke. <laughs> Martin's second free throw. Off the rim, a big rebound by Woodard. Boy, the Panther, oh, and they steal it again. Payne does, lays it up, can't get it. Ingram finally get it. Back down, Robbins driving in, can't get it. Out of bounds, Panthers will lose it. 34-32, Irwin on top. Martin with the ball, he'll drive in reverse, lays it up and in, good shot by Martin. 36-32 now, four point lead by the Indians. Gonna kick it out to Bryant, Bryant back over to Ingram. Clayton's gonna slow it down. There's Ingram now. Long three, boom! Ingram with a big one. He needed that one. One point lead now, 36-35. We have a collision. Payne driving it down. He'll kick it out to Woodard. Woodard off the backboard up and in. 38-35.
Ingram thought about it, he'll step up. 15 footer, got it, good shot by Ingram. Five points for him this half. Seven for the game. And one. Foul will be on number 14, the big guy. That'll be foul number two. Ingram can make it a three-point play and tie this thing up. Got it. Good shot by Ingram. 38-38. We're all tied up. Five minutes to play in the third. Martin with the ball, dribbling around. He'll kick it out over to White. White, good job by Robbins, knocked it away. White will bring it into Payne. Payne, step back three, can't get it to go. Another offensive rebound. He can't get it to go, another rebound and another one. Panthers are giving them three and four shots. They just cannot do it. 40-38, Irwin back on top. Clayton gets it down low to Bale. Bale got him up. Off the backboard, trying to draw a foul. Great shot by Bale. 40-40, we're back tied up. Martin with the ball, he's gonna give it back to Woodard. Woodard driving in, off of no charge. They called another flop on Robbins. Irwin on top, 42-40. Panthers with the ball. See what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a 30 second timeout. With that, we'll take a break too. We'll be back in just All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. What a game we have here in Homerville, Georgia tonight. Irwin, 42, Panthers, 40. Now we're all tied up. Good shot by Clayton. 42 apiece now, 345 to play in the third. Green down there trying to tip it away. Good job, Clayton with the steal. He'll get it to Robin, saves it back to Clayton. Clayton over to Ingram. Ingram, oh, he's trying to hit Green down low. Green wasn't ready. Come Payne, Payne will give it to White and Bryant will knock it out of bounds. No foul, he got all ball. We got number three down, that's Lake, his shoe come off, he's not hurt. Payne will bring it in. Here we go, 327 to play, 42 apiece. They get it into White, White, back over to Payne. Payne, oh, and they're gonna call it on Bryant, a reach in. That'll be Bryant's second. Clayton, long pass to Ingram back on this end. He'll lay it up and in. Ingram showing up this second half. Panthers back on top now, 44-42. Long three, can't get it to go. Good, another offensive rebound. Laster throw it up and one. Mm. Ingram, that'll be his second. Laster with seven points tonight. 44-44, we're tied up again. Been back and two all night. Back and two, back and two. Dollar Bill is checking in. There's a shot that's gonna put Irwin back up now. 
45-44, Robin, boom, long three-point. Second one of the game for Robbins. Panthers up by two now. We got a foul on 20. That is green, that'll be his second. Great game, Lady Panthers from Portia Smith. Lawson Smith says, hey, Allen, at Big Daddy's. All right, we appreciate Lawton tuning in, along with Dollar Bill. Laster back at the free throw line for the Indians. First one off the edge of the rim, can't get it. Bryant with the rebound, they got him hemmed up. Somehow he got it out. Good save by Bryant. Robbins with the ball. Dribbling around, setting it up, going to slow it down. He'll drive in, lays it off his left hand, can't get it to fall. 47-45, Panthers on top. Oh, Robbins is going to get called. Let's see, that'll be Robbins' first foul. Oh, it's going to be a one and one now. That'll put Payne at the free throw line for the Indians. Two twenty to play in the third. Payne got it. Good shot by Payne. Seven points for him tonight. One point game now, Panthers lead, 47-46. Payne can tie it up with this one. In and out, can't get it to go. Big rebound, Clayton. He saved it somehow. Oh, good hustle there, number three, Lake. Clayton flops it back, Lake throws it up. Boy, they playing under the gold. <laughs> And then they get in the middle of the court, they'll shadow block, and they'll call a foul. Panthers with the ball, 2.07 to play in the third. Here comes Robin bringing it down. Student section up on their feet over there for the Panthers. Robin's got in, a left handed, can't get it to go, slapped out of bounds. Oh, we got a foul on number three. Three, that's Lake. Ooh, that'll be foul number four on Lake. That'll put Robbins at the free throw line. 156 to play in the third. Boy, the Panthers have missed about 10 free throws tonight. Woodard will check back in. There's another miss. Panthers lead by one. Oh, good job by Clayton, tipped it away. Magby with the ball, got the steal. Bryant with it now, Bryant looking over to Clayton. Clayton gonna throw up a three. Boom, got it. They needed that one. 50-46, biggest lead of the night. In and out, can't get it to go. Laster, big slap away by Magby. 15, he'll lay it up and in. Good shot by Woodard, or Payne, excuse me. Let's see what we got here. What is that, a warning? Oh, he could have called a tech. Miss Johnson says, good game, Panther. Miss Johnson, it is a great game. 50-48, Panthers on top, 118 to play in the third. Here we go, Clayton. He'll give it up to Robbins. Robbins looking, he's gonna drive in, throws up another one, can't get it. Magby, draw, Robbins draws another foul on number four. Let's see, 
That's three on Laster. Robin just missed two. You've got to hit these free throws. 108 to play, Robin. There it is. Good shot by Tucker. Tucker with 13 points tonight. And another one. Make it 14 now. Panthers up 52-48. Laster with the ball for the Indians. He'll give it up to White. White back over to Martin. Martin looking, going to drive in. He'll pull up 10-footer, missed the gold, out of bound. Panthers take it back. 54 seconds to play in the third. Here comes Clayton now. Taking his time, he'll get it out to Magby. the shot, got it, good shot. Who made that one? Who? Tucker with another big shot. 54-48, biggest lead of the night for the Panthers. Out of bounds, Panthers with possession, 30 seconds to play in the third. Dollar Bill, tighten up Aaron Bryant. Tighten up Clayton. Come on, Panthers win. We need those free throws. You're right, darling, they are missing some of the, maybe they hear you, they're gonna tighten up a little bit. 54-48, Panthers on top, clock running, 29, 28, 27, Clayton driving, he'll kick it out. Oh, driving Clayton, somehow come out with it, Robin's got it. Looking, he'll kick it over to Magby. Magby can't get it to go. Clayton again with a big rebound. Oh, man, a jump ball called. I don't know how Clayton does it. He gets in there and he'll get a rebound. Oh, we got, I don't know what. What was the call there? I don't know what it was. Oh, I got you crossed the line for you inbound it. Clayton with it, eight seconds. Six seconds. Got a foul, let's see. Uh-oh, number 14. That's foul number three on Woodard. Six and a half seconds to play in the third. Panthers lead 54-48. Robbins got to get it in, got to get it in. Out of bounds, White off his leg. Panthers keep possession. Got a wet spot on the court. Referee gonna dry it up. Boy, what a game it's been. Yeah, that's a little Winston's job, man. <laughs> hey. Clayton gonna bring it in, looking, looking, and get it in, trying to get it to Brown, out of bounds. Good save by White. Good job, White will lay it up and in at the buzzer. So after three quarters of play, Clinch County 54, Irwin County 50 will be back in. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or All right, everybody, we're here for the fourth and final period. Eight minutes to play. Panthers lead 54-50. Here we go. Bryant bringing it down for the Panthers. He'll get it to Bale. Bale thought about it. 
He'll dribble around, he's gonna drive to the basket, lays it up and in, good job, Bell. 13 points for Bell tonight. Panthers 56-50, good shot by Laster. He'll lay it up and in. Fifty-six, fifty-two. look out. Payne will give it up to Zay. Zay will lay it up and in. Here come the Indians now. 56-54. Robbins dribbling around, dribbling. He'll kick it to Bell. Long three off the back of the rim. Robbins with the rebound. He'll drive in, throws one up, can't get it to go. Off the fingertips of the Panthers. DJ Magby tried to get it. Indians can tie it up or take the lead here. Zay with the ball. He's hit two big threes, he's gonna drive in. Good job by Ingram, he'll steal the ball. They give it up to Tucker. 56, 54, 640 to play in the game. Oh, good pass by Robbins. Got it down to Green. Green can't get it. They're gonna call a foul on Woodard. Let's see. That's gonna be foul number four with 635 to play. Green at the free throw line, got it. Big free throws down the stretch here for the Panthers. 57-54, second free throw on the way. Bell with a big rebound. I said that he, he got in too early, I guess, Scott. All right, the Indians can tie it up here. 6.30 to play now. Oh, he slipped, fell down. Robbins, jump ball. Tried to wrap it up. Payne will bring it in for the Indians. He'll get it into Martin. Martin's had a couple of three-pointers tonight. Laster with the ball, he's gonna throw one up. Trying to use the backboard, can't get it. Got his own rebound, he'll throw up another one, can't get it. Finally, Green with the rebound. Let's see, jump ball. They called a jump ball. All right, Panthers with the possession. Here comes Clint. 57-54, 5.59 to play. Panthers can't get it to go. Oh. They're gonna call it on number 20. That's three fouls on Alvin Green. Zay dribbling through the Panthers. Pick and roll there, good job by Green this time. He'll give it back up to Robbins. Robbins back to Green. Oh man. He did, he forgot he dribbled, I guess. Five forty-two to play in the game. Here comes Zay down the court. He's gonna slow it down, pull back out. Oh! Yeah, they're gonna call that. That was on number 23. That's Raymond. Raymond got in the back of Woodard. Woodard's got to be careful. He's playing with four fouls along with Lake. Lake has four fouls. Laster, good pass. Can't get it to go. Panthers just cannot. Finally, Bell gets it. Look out. Bell comes down. He lays it up and in. Good shot by Bell. 59-54. Biggest lead of the night for the Panthers. 
What was that call? Foul on number four, Aaron Bryant. That'll be his third. Boy, it's been a great game. 5-12 to play in the game. Zay with the ball for the Indians. Oh, they're going to, well, I don't know. He said he traveled. He, he hooked the ball, I guess, Scott. I thought he was calling it on Robbins for a minute. Biggest lead of the night for the Panthers, five points. It's 59-54, fixing to go under five minutes. Bell fakes the pass, pulls up. Ten-footer can't get it to go. Robbins will save it. Over to Ingram. Ingram thought about it. He's going to drive in hard. Man, he lays it up. Good job, number three. Number five all the way down the court. That's Martin with the layup. Back to a three-point game. That's what they called. Mm. Irwin trying to get it closer. Bale with another rebound. Robbins with the ball. Now he's slowing down. What in the world? What's going on? They're going to call a foul. Number three. That's Lake. That is five on Lake. He'll be gone. Oh, they called it on number. No, he's out. He fouled out. So Lake will foul out. Panthers holding on to a three-point lead. Shot clock under 10 now. They kick it out. Got to get it up. Brown off the rim, can't get it. Bell with a big rebound. He kick it out. Robbins, long three. Boom! He got it. Three of them tonight for Robbins. 62-56, biggest lead of the night. 340 to play. Zay with a long three off the back of the rim. Brown with the rebound. He'll kick it over to Bell. Bell thought about it. Back to Brown. Oh, Brown drives in. Foul on number four, Laster. That'll be four fouls on Laster. Sixty two fifty six three twenty seven to play. We're going to get a one minute timeout. We're going to take a breath or take a break and catch your breath. We'll be back in just. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Hey, hi hey, right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. Panthers on top, 62-56, 320 and counting left in the game. Bell with the ball. He's going to drive in out to Robbins. Look out. Off the rim. Can't get it. Oh, good job. Oh, man, I thought Panthers come up with it somehow. Clayton does. 
That play started with uh, uh, Raymond for the Panthers. Raymond set that last play up. Oh. And one. Boy, a big play. Number 23. Barrett drives in and he'll get two. And a foul on number five. That's going to be uh, Brown's third. Sixty-two fifty-eight, two fifty-four to play. Barrett trying to make it a three-point play. He'll miss it. Clayton with the rebound. Panthers taking her time. Up by four. Two forty-five. Clock running. Twenty-five seconds on the shot clock. Oh man, a three second violation. Panthers turn it over. Payne pulls it up, can't get it to go. Bell with a big rebound, he'll get it out to Brown. Brown lays it up, can't get it to go. Bell saves it and tips it in. Boy, boy, boy. 64-58, 208 to play. Laster lays it up and in. Good job by Laster. He played a great game. 64-60, 56, 55, clock running. Robin's trying to drive in. They're gonna draw a foul. Let's see, number one, that's Payne. That'll be three fouls on Payne. Robbins will be shooting two. These are big free throws. The Panthers struggled early. Let's see if they can put it away now. Got to have these free throws. Good shot by Robbins. Robbins tonight was 16, 19, 20 points tonight. Second free throw on the way for Robbins. Got it, big money in the bank. 66-60. Clock running, 145. Zay driving in, he'll pull up, good job. Oh man, boy, boy, boy. Raymond I thought got all ball. And they're gonna call a foul on him. That'll be his second. 140 to play in the game now. Oh, now Irwin can't hit a free throw. They started out hot and now they're ending up cold. There's another miss. Bale with the rebound, he'll give it to Tucker. Robbins taking his time now. He can run it to a minute with the shot clock. 129, there's 25 seconds on the shot clock. Good save by Robbins, good pass. Got it to Bell. Bell got his own rebound. Got it up and in. Good shot by Bell. There's another turnover the Panthers have at 68-60. Bryant with the ball, can't get it to go. Clayton with an offensive rebound out to Brown. Panthers now under a minute to play, up by eight. Chewing on the clock, Irwin's got to come out and get him. Robbins will pull up. What was it on? Tucker with a call, that's his second. I don't know what the foul was. 68-60. There's a steal. Brown has it. Bell had it. He'll lose it. Clayton ends up with it again. Back to Robbins. 36 seconds. 35. Bryant with the ball. Foul on by number five. That's Martin. That'll be his second. It's going to be a one and one. Yep, the next one will be the bonus. 
68, 60, 35 seconds to play. Oh, he's all over it. Ingram, let's see, they're gonna call a foul on number five. Martin, that'll be his third now. Boy, this has been a great game. I wanna remind everybody to come, be back here tomorrow at six. You think this is a good one? It's gonna be another great game with Coffee County. You have a 6A school coming over here to play the Panthers which is only Class A. I'll give a shout out to our sponsors. You got Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Burt, CPA, and Adam Toll, Camping World of Alasta, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, and Clinch Memorial Hospital, Douglas Meadow, Mr. Ash and the Dairy Queen, Homerville Jewelers, Huey's One Stop, Lutz Brown Insurance, Walker Jones of Waycross, Napa Auto, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, Dre's Snack Shack, and Barnyard Barbecue. We appreciate all of them being our sponsors. If any of y'all would love to become a sponsor, would like to, we'd love to have you. You'll let Daniel, myself, or Miss Beth know. We can hook you up. All right, Clayton at the free throw line now. Panthers up by eight, 68-60. 34 seconds to play. First shot on the way, can't get it. They're gonna call that on Ingram, I guess on his back. That'll be his third. Now they'll come back on this end and shoot a one and one. That's gonna put, oh, let's see, last year at the free throw line. Lester with 12 points tonight. First shot on the way, can't get it. Robbins will save it. They're gonna call a foul on number five. Look out, that'll be four on Martin. He can't give no more. All the way back to this end now, 31 seconds to play. Panthers hit a couple of more free throws. They can lock it up. Robbins, first shot, got it. Good shot by Tucker. Sixty-nine, sixty now. Second free throw. Robbins couldn't get it. Big rebound. Bale turn around. Can't get it. Staying down here. Bale got way up in the sky to get that one. Robbins got to get it in. He does to Ingram, back to Robbins. Clock running 20 seconds. Irwin's had enough, it's 69-60. Down three possessions, the Panthers, the student section's gonna get loud. 10 seconds, Coach Terrence George and the Panthers will improve to seven and one on the year. Robbins throws it up. And that's gonna do it with the Panthers winning 69 to 60. Let me add up some of these points right here. Clayton with 10 points tonight. Robbins, let's see, at 16, 19, 20, 22 points. Bryant with six points. Brown with two points. 11, let's see that. 15, 17, 19 points for Jeremy Bell tonight. One point for Green. Two points for Raymond. And seven points for Clayton. Big leading score for the Indians tonight. Let's see what these nine, 14. 
19 points for Martin. And he will be the leader. I want to remind everybody, please be here tomorrow. And see if you can't make it to the game, catch us live here on Creek Box. We'll be on about 5.58. I uh, want everybody to have a safe trip. And as Mr. Barron used to say, tell someone about Jesus. God bless you. We'll see you.